There is growing optimism that the U.S. will finally reach a deal on raising the debt ceiling before Tuesday's deadline. We have the Senate Democrat leader Harry Reid saying that agreement is closed after talks with other congressional figures and also the White House. However, President Obama's top advisor says Republicans must meet the Democrats halfway. The only way out of this is for Congress to act, for the Republicans in Congress to be willing to compromise a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, the debt ceiling has been raised dozens of times historically. Uh, it shouldn't take, uh, you know, a constitutional crisis for us to pay the bills on our credit card that Congress has already racked up. And let's get more from the White House. Kate Brower has been following the developments from Washington. She joins us now. And Kate, no agreement just yet, but what do we know about this proposed deal? Well, exactly. And we know actually that House uh, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi says we'll, she'll have to take a look at the deal. So she has not yet signed off on it either. And it looks like the House is hoping to vote on it tomorrow. But still, the White House is not confirming that a deal has happened. White House Communications Director Dan Pfeiffer actually tweeted what they're doing a lot of these days, saying that important issues are still there to work out. What we do know is that the deal would include um, raising the debt ceiling immediately with about a trillion dollars in spending cuts, which would come from defense and domestic cuts, including farm subsidies. And then there would be this special committee set up to uh, seek about $1.5 trillion in cuts between 2012 and 2021. We've learned that through a Republican aide um, with a Christmas deadline. So really the, the sticking points now are what we call triggers, which are enforcement mechanisms to make sure that this committee actually does achieve these cuts. And what are the major concessions that the White House has had to make Democrats, and how are their bases reacting? The White House uh, was all along the president was saying he wants to see this deal raise the debt ceiling through the 2012 election. And so that is something that they were able to get in this uh, package that's being worked out that we know the basic outlines of now. But there are no tax uh, revenue increases in the deal that we know of now. And that's something that Democrats, some especially more liberal Democrats, are very concerned about because they always said that it had to be a balanced approach of entitlement cuts. Um, along with revenue increases. So some are saying that the White House has given a lot on this. Um, but Republicans don't want to see huge cuts to uh, the military. And so that's military cuts are also part of this. So it, it is, you know, they're seeking to find some kind of even handed way to reach this deal. Okay, so we're close to a deal. What's the next, next step? When is this vote set to take place? Well, I mean, the next step is the House is likely to vote tomorrow. The Senate um, likely to vote after uh, Reid caucuses with Democrats. So it's really just a waiting game. We know that talks are going on at the White House. Uh, now we know that uh, Senate um, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Vice President Joe Biden have been in close talks, talking several times yesterday and also talking today, uh, the result of which we do not yet know, but it does seem like a deal is, is close. All right, Kate, thank you for that update. Kate Brower joining us from the White House lawns in D.C.